<coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is I.D. McVicker, Chairman of the Board of County Commissioners, assisting in the opening of Vizcaya, the Dade County Art Museum. <coughs> I would like Mr. Robert Tyler Davis, Director of the Museum, to join me in this official opening. Mr. Davis, if you will please come over and excuse my left hand. Now I think we should let our first customers in <coughs> so that we can welcome them to the Dade County Art Museum. It is now my pleasure to present to you Mr. Robert Tyler Davis, Director of the Dade County Art Museum, who will tell you something of the details. Mr. Davis. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're very glad to have you here. Each one of you, as you've come in, has been handed a guidebook to Vizcaya, and you're on your own from now on. Here we are in the East Loggia of Vizcaya, where one of the most superb things is the floor, made of small pieces of antique marbles, very precious bits and pieces brought from, most of them from Europe and all parts of the world. In a number of places in the house, one finds these superb floors, made in the manner of Venice. Also in this East Loggia, we have four pairs of what to me are the handsomest doors in the house. They came from the Palazzo Torlogna in Rome. They're actually cedar wood, completely encrusted with bronze. Very finely chiseled bronze, which of course first was cast and then chiseled, and here and there one can even find traces of gilding on them. They're surrounded by a marble uh, framework, which also came from the same palace and actually has the coat of arms of the Torlonia family. Just to your left of those, you can catch a glimpse of the blue and white uh, flower pots they look like here, but actually they're Ming Dynasty Chinese fish bowl. Then finally, we have a, an extremely interesting Roman table made of a great thick slab of marble and showing dolphins at the end, moving along to the great stairway with fountains that shoot jets of water up into basins and then the water falls back again, stairways on either side, more clipped hedges, until finally we come and see in the distance the casino, which is a charming, very light, little, gay little building, built in contrast to the house, which is quite massive. Uh, this is very light and open. One looks right through it, out onto the lagoon beyond. The whole mound, of course, is an artificial hill and gives a kind of variety in the garden with the great live oaks growing on top of it. Then we swing over to the right and we find another vista. There are three of them as we stand in the upstairs dining room window and look out. This time the paths shooting right in front of us, the white sand between the green clipped hedges becomes more clear, the design of the, of the patterns, 